What's good, you guys? Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time being here. I am Chanel and this is your weekend vibe. So if this blesses you, be sure that you bless someone else by sharing this with them so that we can keep the love and abundance flowing. If you are desiring to get a reading or want some insights and guidance on where it is that you're headed at the end of this year or moving into 2020 or even for next year, we are currently having a 33% discount on all of the readings in the website. The link is below. Or if you're watching this on Instagram, it is in my bio under readings. Also, if you are feeling generous today, feel free to leave a love offering in my Cash App. I have that listed below. I appreciate the love. Thank you for being here. And let's get into this weekend energy and we'll see what's going on for us. So, Yesterday, the moon went into Scorpio, and I really needed to rest yesterday. <laughs> the moon also went into a waxing, a waning crescent, so we are in this space of rest, of healing, surrendering to what needs to be done, what needs to be re let go of, you know, or what it is that we recognize had needed to be let go of while the moon was in it third quarter phase and this last quarter phase right so while the moon has been in Scorpio things have been coming up showing up of what it is that needs to be released now if we have not been recognizing paying attention how it is that our patterns our cycles have been in a sense not if we have not been paying attention to how our cycles have been perpetuating themselves in our life, then we may be in this space of being a victim, feeling like we're having to deal with power struggle, feeling like we haven't, that we are succumb to our fears, also in this space of lack, of scarcity, of this impoverishment mindset, you know, but today is Saturday, and Saturdays are ruled by Saturn, so right now Saturn is in Capricorn, it is about to transit into Aquarius very soon in about 10 days, and it's at its 29th degree. So, when planets are or houses begin, more so when planets are at a 29th or zero degree, it's at its most highest expression, right? So, we may really be feeling the heat in a sense if we have not been putting in the work if we have not been moving through things in a way that is needed like if you have not been dealing with your shadows if you have not been dealing if you've been trying to skip steps if you have been trying to take the easy way out we are recognizing and seeing that 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 has been sabotaging us in a way that is is blocking us is create we if you have been if you're paying attention to your life you're seeing where it is that you're blocking yourself or you're sabotaging yourself you know and that is what saturn and capricorn really come in and do is take us out of that that mode of victimization and remind us that we literally create our lives through the energy it is that we put into it you have to put the work in you have to take care you know you have to take care of yourself you have to take care of the foundation it is that you do you have to also because capricorn is always for this long-term goal for this bigger picture right but it knows that things might have to change so we'll have to choose again so this is about choices as well. What choices are you making? Are you being discerning in your choices? Are you being discerning in who it is that you connect with in making these choices? All of that is important here because Capricorn is, we are building things. It's about connecting with other people in order to build. So it's about who you're collaborating with, who are you being in this pessimistic state or are you choosing to see optimism where there is no light, you know, and the moon and Venus are in a, are having this really fluid conversation where we have the ability to work through these things. If we choose to recognize it, if we recognize what it is that we want, 
what we desire, if we tap into our values, if we tap into our love, you know, what, what is your love language? The love language of Scorpio is, it's about passion. It's about commitment and devotion. What are you being devoted to? Where are you not being devoted? This is where all of this energy comes up. You have to really be consistent in your efforts of things if you want your life to be something more than what it already is in this present moment. You know, and with the way 2020 has gone, it's really been able, it's given us this gift in showing us where it is that we have not been doing the work, where it is that we have been trying to take the easy way out right because 2020 is a four so this is about stability foundations it's about things coming together this is about also about success and achievement and moving forward but also taking the action to make these things happen and if you haven't been doing that then your life is reflecting these things you must be paying attention to what it is and where it is that you are placing your energy so that you can manifest what it is that you want to manifest so that you can succeed in your life in the way in which it is that you want to succeed in your life you saturn capricorn is about responsibility you have to take responsibility about everything in your life everything what's going wrong what's going bad who you chose to be in your life with who you didn't choose who you let go of who what it looks like now what it had what happened then that it has created the energy that exists now and what it is that you're choosing to put in now right that is going to create the energy or build be the foundation of where it is you're going in the future so you know we really have to be present with these things we have to be willing to pull up our britches and recognize where it is that we are connect with people who can help you succeed, who can help you achieve, who can help you see clearly through this. That is also where what this 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 moon, the moon is conjunct Venus, right? So and then it's in this sextile to all this Capricorn energy. So who can you connect with? Who can you be intimate with? It can help you see within you. Into me see, into me. I see, you see you know so what is that what does that mean for you where where are you not really aligned within yourself you have to do the work you have to see yourself you know it, it, it's better for and this energy may also have its focus in a sense on materializing a thing right because venus is about having possessing you know material gains money but this is also about listening to our intuition, letting our intuition guide us. Maybe if you're a woman, you really need to connect with your feminine at this time because that will... So I was saying that if you are, if you are a woman, connecting with your feminine energy will be very supportive of you right now because it'll help you really go within, really tap in and see yourself in a way that you may not have been recognizing, paying attention to, you know, and if you are a man and you're watching this, then tapping into create your creative energy, your more passive energy, maybe you can take a break, maybe you need to rest, you've been putting a lot of energy into, in a sense, trying to figure things out, right, because Scorpio is the detective, it, it needs to get to the bottom of the situation. Now, with the moon also being in Scorpio, we may also be being revealed some things that we were just not aware of, especially in regards to uh, others or people who are close to us who just have not been showing up in a way of who it is that they really are, you know? And not saying that they weren't that person either at the same, at the beginning or before they just have not been revealing this aspect but it, it may be showing up in a way that is so right you were basically being able being the detective with the flashlight being able to see this light in in this dark space you know 
and even in our relationships now i love for relationships we may be feeling very close very intimate very loving with our relationships if we if you've been putting in a lot of work and a lot of effort in getting things aligned in which in the ways in which you desire them to be, then you will be receiving that payout, this payoff, you know, and really just enjoying your relationships, your relationship with your mother, your relationship with your family, with your with your spouse, your husband, your wife, um, with your children as well. Any, even just with your uh, extended family too, and really just feeling feeling love, you know, feeling the support, you know, and let's see. So that is pretty much the only aspect that the moon is going to be making while it is in Sag while it's in Scorpio because it's about to go into Sagittarius later on today. And we are about to get into this new moon solar eclipse energy that we are about to experience on monday so sunday sundays are ruled by leo by the sun leo so a good day to have a good time to just relax and enjoy like get really creative maybe um sing with the family dance with the family do some art with the family or just hang out you know whatever you guys see is fun that's really supportive of this energy now let's see so it will be coming into we will be coming in contact with with uh, Chiron. So any wounds with it being in, wow, with the moon being in Sagittarius, right, it'll be in it coming into this connection with Chiron, we may be recognizing, easily seeing the wounds it is that we've been holding on to, how our beliefs have been affecting these wounds, have continued to trigger these wounds, right? Or we may just be moving fluidly through this there may be those who are able to support us who have moved through this energy um and really be able to just hold space you know and it's also a good time for us to hold space for ourselves and moving through these things taking time to audit our beliefs seeing where we have limited ourselves and what it is that we believe to be true um auditing what it is that we consider our truth to be you know because a lot of times we are holding on to false beliefs old stories and and, and and creating this truth behind it when in reality it's a need for us to show up and take responsibility for what it is that's going on in our life so that we can really see what it is that's going on how is it that this has been emitting from us what frequency have we been putting out what ideas have we been holding within us that has created our reality has created what culture have we created for our lives based off of the beliefs it is that we've been holding on to all this time you know and these wounds are are, are being seen they are we have the ability we're being blessed with the opportunity to work through them to let them go to move through them to really start making the efforts to move through these shadows that have been created move through any type of shame these ego aspects of ourselves that keep blocking us from feeling fulfilled and feeling sure of who it is that we are who it is that we want to identify as who it is that we identify identify as you know so we will also be moon will also be coming into conjunction with mercury so again this is going to be a very revealing energy for us hmm. let me see well, that's not until Monday that that actually happens. But once it begins to come in contact with Mercury that is in Sagittarius, it is going to give us that opportunity to be able to recognize 
the emotions that are tied to the thoughts and how that that has kind of influenced our perspective, how it is that, or even when it comes to our roots, you know, what it is that we have been brought up with and how this has cultivated these perspectives, these beliefs, these ideas and truths it is that we've held on to, you know, and really also being able to see another person in a sense, especially when the moon comes in contact with this this Chiron energy, it's almost being able to recognize, well, it is being able to recognize why it is another person shows up the way that they do in their feelings, their emotions about things, you know, and it, it gives us the space to be able to move through that. Almost, it offers, it lends this this shoulder of forgiveness, forgiveness for ourselves, forgiveness for other people, you know, and how it is that they are showing up in their wounds, you know, how it is that they are showing up in their hurts, their shame, their embarrassment, you know, the things it is that they feel are difficult to deal with, you know, and that really, as the, as things, as the energy continues to flow, we will recognize come Monday, if we haven't already started to, what needs to be cleared, right? Because the solar eclipse is about a purge. It's about releasing, moving through so we can shift ex our external world. But that shift happens within. The a solar eclipse is a new moon. So this is about what's going on within. What intentions have we been setting for our lives all this time and how these things have been manifested? Have we been making the right choices for ourselves? Have we been have we been operating from a, a pure space of uh, our intentions? What have your intentions been all this time? And if they have not been the best, then this, these things will be revealed, you know? So it's a, a good time to check to your astrology to see where this eclipse is happening in your chart so you can see where your intentions need to be set, where it is that these current triggers that you're experiencing have kind of been manifesting themselves from and working through that working reworking the structures of it with jupiter being in capricorn reworking the hidden aspects that devil within you that has been creating what it is that you have not these unpleasant experiences that you have not been desiring to happen to experience on your journey so you can it so that you can then get into the embodiment the love that Sagittarius has to offer all the benevolence all the adventure all the fun all the lightheartedness you know all the alignment all the sovereignty that exists within you that you already have you know in recognizing where you have been perceiving yourself as feeling or being oppressed instead of recognizing that well this is really all about what choices it is that i choose to make because that is what your sovereignty is is your ability to make a choice and when you choose correctly of what's in alignment with what it is that you need for your own life for yourself for those around you you start to see the shift in your life <laughs> by making better choices for yourself and i'm not saying this because i've learned this um through reading a book or being taught this i've learned this through myself through choosing differently and recalibrating my entire life by the by seeing that i was responsible that my sovereignty is mine because i said so you know so you guys Let's get into these cards to see what this weekend energy has going on for us. And yes, let's see. It's a good time to get into any spiritual, anything, and, and be consistent in that. Even if that's just getting up in the morning and sitting 10 minutes and talking and talking to your ancestors, talking to God, it needs to be consistent. You know, it needs to be the, the self-care 
that you give to yourself, it has to be consistent. You can't just do a thing one day and think that, oh, okay, that was enough. No, it's not enough. This is a, a daily thing. Your life, your life don't end till you die. So this needs to be happening as long as you live every day. You know, responsibility is every day. Choices. Can you share with us what is going down for us? What can we expect to see? What is the messages, advice, guidance that you have for us? Self care, what spiritual practice will support us through this weekend in our relationships? Okay. So, the focus this week is the sun card. So the sun card, this is basically about where it is that this is about expansion. This is about our joy, our fulfillment in life. This is about our courage to make things happen, to change things in our life. You know, this is also about our creativity, but also our children and how it is that we interact with them, how it is that we support them and what we give to them. This is also about our innocence and our, our inner child and the need to really connect, reconnect with that, bringing things, bringing old parts of ourselves, again, innocence is that space enough that has not been corrupted, that has not been held back, held down with any ideas, ideals, that anything is not possible because the sun knows it's possible and if it's not possible it's gonna burn it up to get it out the way so that so that it can move through and make it happen you know it, it knows that there is time when it has to you know rest and rise again so this is also about ebb and flow and recognizing where it is that you are in your life are you in a space of ebbing or are you in a space of flowing in reality we should always flow because on the flow the ebb will happen and we have to be present with that present with our reality with what is going on so that we can make the best choices and move forward in our life now role romance might also be a thing love might also be a thing for us this weekend especially with this moon and venus conjunction in scorpio and this very intimate, sensual, sexual energy that Scorpio brings us and really connecting with those that we love with, you know, just really feeling lighthearted in a sense. Now, this is also where it is that you have not been operating in your will, where you have been lack where there has been a lack of motivation, where there has been excuses, where there has been a, a not doing, that will be revealed to you as well. That light will be shined so that you can, on that, so that you can move forward from that space, you know, really get out any, any type of lethargic energy that you've been in, in any type of lack of motivation. 21 this is also about the things it is that you create how it is that you're creating your your life you know what is present for you and in a sense taking responsibility for that again and seeing that it is up to you your confidence your actions that you choose to take this is also talking about the sun being in Sagittarius so you know really taking the time to to see the light in things really take the time to shine a light on your beliefs um and where these beliefs have taken you this far where is it that you are on your journey how has you how have these beliefs been carrying you forward and have they been serving you are they really your beliefs <laughs> do they really belong to you you know so you can you will find fun in moving beyond old old thoughts, old ways that you have been um, not seeing yourself as worthy, where you have been in a space of negative self-talk and moving on from that energy, you know, really up-leveling your, your mind, 
you know this is this thing with the scorpio with this saturn saturn scorpio lord sagittarius energy being so prominent it's about the mind it's about the higher knowing it's about the higher self you know so really elevating your connection to the ethers you know to that 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 intangible as so as above so below you know so we get in this space of trying to always fix what is here without fixing what is there first don't get in this you know even even this the woman in the sun car she's lifting her hands up to the heavens because she knows that is where outside of the sun being there but that is where her creativity her inspiration and all of those things are coming into play so with this sagittarius energy this is a lot about i said this already but you know recognizing these beliefs and i was saying you know even she knows that her creativity her inspiration her answers it comes from above what it is that is going to support her in her fulfillment you know connecting with that energy so spiritual practice for this week is this weekend you got the four of cups for spiritual practice so this is about gaining self-awareness going within seeing where it is that you're missing the gifts it is that you have that you can utilize the gifts it is that are being offered to you the gifts that are right are directly in front of you pull your space out of this so that you can pull your space out of this energy of boredom of inui you know of apathy of of, of just uh that lack lacks the basal energy that keeps you from really being able to enjoy what is present you know and move forward into the future you know into where it is that you're going so let's see so really taking time to get self-aware with what is going on internally and that is going to support you in the moving forward, you know, kind of find the joy in doing this and enjoying and having, you know, seeing, of uh, being able to see the light of where it is that has been blocking you from being able to experience things in a very joyful space, a joyful manner. So with your relationships, has seven of cups. So perhaps your relationships Ooh. maybe your relationships may be feeling very dreamy in a sense or maybe they may need to be changing and this may be some realization that we're coming to out of kind of having keeping your head in the clouds as well this is also seven of cups energy is also a need to get grounded within your relationships but may also be coming to see something clearly that you weren't seeing before um, whether good for good or bad you know and also recognizing things that need to be let go of so that you can come into a space of grounding but on the other hand your relationships may be feeling very light very good a place where you can go and uh, share your ideas share what it is that you want to create in, in in getting that don't get caught up in the um don't get caught up in connecting in a way of trying to escape what needs to be done what needs to be taken care of you know but use it as a common ground for holding space for a, a energy of, of comfort you know energy of being able to get all of the confusion all of the the chaos that's going on in your head out you know someone who can really support you on a a very intimate level 7-eleven right to help you see in a sense the cause and effect you know why it is 
what has been going on and why is it that things are the way they are, whether again, that's good or bad. So maybe you're connecting with people and, and just kicking back and really like, hey, like we did this, we are here, you know? And then some of you are like, hey, like I need some help figuring out what is going on here. You know, can you hold space for me? Or maybe you're the one holding space for another. And that's, that's a beautiful thing too. So, you know, your relationships may be of a very emotional nature, a very intuitive nature, a very loving nature. Just be sure to not, again, be in the space of trying to escape reality within your relationship. So let's see. So the obstacle is transformation, is death. So you may have a, a difficult time really being able to make that change that needs to happen, you know, or perhaps your relationships have been an obstacle, have been a blockage in the way in which you've been going about uh, connecting in your relationships, or perhaps even your relationships are keeping you in this, 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 this escapism state of mind, this, the Seven of Cups energy also feels like this victim energy. Like, I'm just going to be here. Like, all oh, right. So this Seven of Cups and this Four of Cups are very much similar, right? The Four of Cups is like, oh, this is boring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. I can't do anything. Oh, I just not paying attention so I am just going to sit here and be apathetic about my life because I'm not choosing to be self-aware right because the flip side of four of cups is being self-aware and the seven of cups is like oh I want to do this I can do that I can do this I can do that you know or it's like oh I can't do any of these things I don't have anything I need to do what it is that I need to do but the four of cups here tells us that the gift is here you have you're not paying attention your, perspe your perception where it is that you're looking you're not looking in the right direction right and you have been choosing to escape reality in a sense that is not allowing you to move beyond this old state of mind perhaps right because even the negative self-talk even comes up in this sense of being a victim feeling like if you see things of your life as you're feeling oppressed by a thing you know you you are the authority in your life you know so it's important that you recognize that so that you can stand up in the agency that you hold so that you can lead in your life in the space that you have created right so with this obstacles again it, with this death card there is transformation that needs to happen but it is whether it is something in your relationships more ooh, not the relationships this has to do with family things this is ancestral this has been given to you this is passed down it's one of the things like you heard that story like oh you remember um uncle teddy he went and had this situation with so and so and they got in this big brawl and he never let that go yeah that's this so now everybody in the family dealing with not being able to trust feeling like they can't do nothing because somebody else can come and take it from from them or whatever the case is <laughs> but what the reality is is that it's your responsibility to let those things go and not let that be your story not let that be your life you know and really choose to transform from within take the time to see the truth to see the light so let's see what else is here for spirit no, that's too many cards. And I guess I'm taking all of them, right? Because this is the messages and advice. So the first card is the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands means that you need to pay attention to... Okay, so Eight of Wands. Char said... 
Let me finish this so I can send to him. But the Eight of Wands basically speaks about messages coming through, things being revealed to you that you weren't aware of at first. You know, so you may be pay attention to the signs, pay attention to those things, because things are about to start moving very quickly for you in whichever way. Also, I want to come back to this this death card really quick. Um when I was talking about the relationships, although this may be something that has been passed down for you, the relationships it is that you're continuing to build may be continuing to exasperate this energy within you. So basically you're attracting these relationships, right? Because this is who who you've been, what you've been experiencing in your life. So they, in a sense, resonate, relate to you on that level, right? So this that may be something that's being revealed to you and things are going to be even moving very quickly, right? So we have the Six of Cups here as well. So this is, again, about tapping into your innocence, tapping, you know, going back to that place of nostalgia, that place of when you were a child, what parts of yourself, what places, remember yourself when you were curious, right? When you lived in a sense of wonder, right? In it's time to really dive back into that. This Six of Cups also speaks about soulmates and also about reconciliation. So maybe I need to reconnect with some of those people who kind of um, trigger that energy in you so that you can um, reconnect with that aspect of yourself, reconnect with being able to really move beyond the state that you're in right now but also some of us may just be connecting with people who we love very deeply you know and really having a um a, a good time enjoying them and hanging out you know so again the next card that came out is the queen of pentacles so this is about nurturing the self taking care of the self it seems like a lot of self-care needs to be happening this week as well getting grounded um really taking care of you so that the people who you have to take care of you can because the six of cups is also about children as well so um hmm. somebody might be getting pregnant this is a very getting fertile pregnant energy here and then the sun cards here as well so um yes you may be feeling very grounded very fruitful as well and if you're not this is uh encouraging you to uh get into that space tap into that innocence so that you can get grounded take care of what you need to take care of take care of yourself you know Take care of your home this weekend as well. Clean. Maybe, oh, maybe doing something to kind of clear your energy, your energetic space around your home, you know, within your within your aura, you know, within your emotions as well. Also, a need to get grounded in your emotions. Things are about to pick up speed. Seriously. And... <laughs> The last card is the magician. So recognize what it is. Use what you have right now. You know, that is something that's really important to know how to do, to use what you have right now. Like, that way you can come into the space of being grounded. So this is a lot about also tapping into your imagination with this uh with this seven of cups energy so also connects with people who inspire you to tap into your imagination tap into that those ideas tap into that intuition energy you know so that you can really get into the space of manifesting and if you are in like a really pleasant space you may find yourself recognizing where you can better uh utilize your manifestation energy you know and really seeing things in a new light in the sense that is allowing you to be able to alchemize to, to heal really as well that is to take the time to heal within the things especially emotional hurts wounds or you know uh 
lack of scarcity if that is something for you so that you can move through that and release it excuse me it's interesting the bottom of the bottom of the deck the three of swords is there so there may be some emotional healing that needs to take place if you have been feeling at a loss like you've lost something it's almost like you need to really um soften soften yourself change your mind create a new way of thought a new thought pattern right and you have leap here so you go first the universe will catch you you have to be in the space of trusting that you are in the right place at the right time and what it is that you are are doing it will be successful because the universe always has your back you know just go forward go for whatever it is that you need to do go for whatever it is that you are desiring to do what are you feeling that you should be doing you are supported spirit have your back your ancestors have your back if that is something that you believe in and work with you know it's all in the matter of you trusting it's only the matter of you taking the action you know So, have the beloved again for this weekend. So, the beloved speaks about choosing the path of love. It also sp speaks about meeting people where they are on a spiritual level and not being so focused on the physical nature of things, not being so focused on what it is somebody can do for you, but, or who it is that somebody, or, you know, it's about, uh, what it is that somebody can do for you or what it is that somebody has going on in their life or what it is that you have or don't have compared to a person in a sense this is also about not idealizing not romanticizing people because that's a lot of what stops us from being to able to expect it, being able to accept people for the fullness of who they are on on all levels you know by because when we get in this idea of romanticizing things that means we are perceiving things to be a certain way whether for good or bad right because romanticism can go both ways and this can stop us from being able to see the truth of who a person is out of who it is that we were believing them to be what it is that we think a person has what it is that we think a person does how it is that we think a person thinks feels whatever without actually asking the source you know but also um how it is that we think a person will be showing up based off of how we show up in a sense that's that's another thing so really just taking the time to uh it's a lot about respect respecting people for who it is that they are and accepting that just as we are that you are a spiritual being in a human body so are they you know we all come here with whatever purpose path that we have and we have to accept that some you know it, it's different for everybody you know so let's see what animal that we're working with today with this weekend i should say And get ready for big changes so that eight of wands energy things are about to pick up speed especially with this uh this sagittarius solar eclipse we're about to experience whether you're ready for it or not or whether you have been aware of it or not things are about to change for change in a way that a lot of unexpected things are happening right now right scorpio energy and then this this mars being in aries and this energy being in contact with this this solar eclipse and you know that's a lot of eye-opening revelatory energy that if you know it's either gonna 
to support you even more where you have been going or it's going to support you in shifting the trajectory that you've been on because what you have been doing has not been working for you you know it's really important that you it's time to let go of not it's important that we learn to um connect with other people you know it's really important that we learn to connect and uh, embrace other people for who it is that they are not being in this judgmental space with this Cups energy, the six of cups, the seven of cups. Also, want has me wanting to say, take care to not be in this space of like gossiping. If that's something because that also drains your energy. You're giving that energy away to another person, and they can easily utilize that to um, benefit in their life. You know, you you sending that type of energy to other people, but so we have the we have the earth which represents life this is port of fortune so wow okay so this weekend we are shifting back to past shifting back on the past shifting back to purpose and if we are already on there we are opening up to the transformation to the even further transformation that needs to take place to get us further there to get us further on that and really feeling capable it's a lot of loving energy here this weekend really take the time to level up your mind see where there is love see where there is light come let the light be shine on your shadows so that you can move through that energy and release it and let it go because you are the magician of your life you know you have the power you you have the authority, you have the you are the boss of your life if you so choose to believe it. So I, I really encourage you <laughs> to believe that you can you can do it. You that is possible. I'm not gonna keep shuffling this one. Wow. All right. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. All right, so we got the pig and the rose. So this is about an offering of something that is going to be fulfilling to you as well. So someone may be coming to you with uh, giving you something of a generous, something generous. You know, I do want to say also take care to not be in the space of greed because a lot of times that is what causes the the scarcity the poverty like lack mindset is being greedy you know not feeling like you don't have enough right that operates on both spectrums that's the thing about extremes if you feel like you don't have enough so you're being greedy is also going to show up of not having as well the rose also talks about um indicates beauty and rugged health so really take some time to take care of yourself um beautify yourself buy yourself something new if you can and if not use what you have use what you always have what it is that you need right because these bottom cards are saying that we're coming to the end of these oppressive states right because the bottom card is the snake we are coming into this wisdom and the snake talks about on this card indicates anonymity and calamities so anonymity talks about oppression that is oppression and it's stemming from your beliefs it's time to let that go break the chain connect with people who can help you do this right because you got cooperate with others completion um and completion with the or boards you it's time for us to stop eating our tail and going in circles back and forth over and over you know recognize our power let go of these old things that don't belong to us let go of the you know, and even I'm not going to say let go of the people because when we change, our circumstances change. The how it is that we begin to relate to people, how it is that people begin to relate with us, that shifts a lot. All based off, it's all everything that is that 
is going on in our physical realm is is happening because of us. We are the catalyst of our lives. Peacefulness. Yes. So we are coming to a place of peacefulness. We are seeing the light this week. We are really just finding balance within ourselves, moving beyond a space of negative thinking, moving us out of a space of I don't have enough, moving out of a space of apathy, moving out of a space of trying to escape from what it is that needs to be done in order for our life to be what it is that we desire it to be, transforming and, and releasing and letting go of what it is that continues to pull us under, you know, and really being able to see See the light, see the truth, see what is really real that is here for us. So peacefulness says, I have a peaceful, tranquil, and untroubled heart. This is where I choose to spend my time. I can bring guests, but any person, thought, or event that brings drama or chaos is not invited. My heart is a special property, and I'm going to keep it that way. So we can all keep enjoying it, and I can get my security deposit back. <laughs> so... Connect with people who bring you peace, who offer peace, you know, stay away from those who create chaos, who continue to ensue negative thoughts, any type of oppression, any type of victimization, that it can easily be transformed through you because you have the power, you hold the key, it all lives within you and Again, I'm not saying this because I read this somewhere. I'm saying this because I know I've lived it. So, you guys, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. I hope that you find the best in it. I hope you have a wonderful time with your family, with your children. And I hope that you see the love and the light that is here for you. I'm sending you so much love, all my love, and so many blessings. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.